Do you utilize JotForm's approval process and would like to add in a task? Well, let me show you how with JotForm workflows. Hey JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And like I mentioned, if you utilize JotForm workflows, it has now evolved into JotForm workflows. And now there's a lot of different things added in. And one of them is the ability to add tasks to your approval process. So let's go ahead and create a brand new form and I'll show you how to get it done. Top left hand corner, we're going to create a brand new form. We'll do from scratch on the classic form. And over on the left hand side, let's bring in some normal basic elements. We'll do full name, email, and then we'll do a file upload. Now from here, there's a couple of different ways that you can get to the workflow process. First way is in the top middle tab, we can do settings Then over on the left hand side workflow, we can create a new workflow from here or top left hand corner, we can choose form builder and jump straight over into workflows. Now with this, we have the ability to build this out exactly how we want it to look. So as we can see, we have our starting point, which is the form that we just created. And then we have the ability to add certain elements. So for me, again, we're going to make this an approval process. So over on the left hand side, I'm going to go ahead and choose approvals. Now, if we click approval, it's just going to add itself somewhere down here. But if we want, we can click and drag and it'll add it in right into that spot. So let's go ahead and choose our settings. And we can see we have two different outcomes, approve and deny. We have the approvers being myself. We have the response from the majority. But again, we can make this fit exactly how we want. If we want to add in additional people here, we can do that. But from here, we are good to go. I'm going to go ahead and come down over on the left hand side. We're going to bring in now the two different elements to let them know that it's been approved or it has been denied. And both of these for this example is going to be an email. So left hand side, we can drop one email right here and another email over here. And since we're on this one, we're gonna go ahead and make this one be the denial. Just say your request has been denied. Give this a save. And then we'll make this one the approved and we'll save. So now we can drag down here. We can see those two outcomes. So this one's going to be deny. This one is going to be approve. And now we can see that error message went away. Now let's go ahead and add in that task. And for this example, we're going to make it be if the request has been approved, we need to do something on our side on the back end to add them to our system. So on the left hand side, we're going to go ahead and bring in our task right down here. And we can draw that line. We'll do our complete settings. So here is where we can make this look exactly how we want this to look. Up at the top, we can see the title is task. I'm gonna go ahead and change this to add to our system. So that's gonna be the title. The description is going to be exactly what you want that task to be. So let's say, so we're gonna add them to our back office and send a welcome letter. Now, same as the approval, we have some different outcomes. We have completed or we can add a new outcome. So let's go ahead and just say this is in process. Perfect, and now we have the assignee. So this can go to someone outside of anyone that is in the current approval process. Maybe you have an assistant or someone else, you can add in their email to go right here, or you can even pull from the form field. So if they put their manager's email or something like that, you can choose it from right down here. But for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and put myself. Next, we have the ability to design the task. So if I click on design task, it's gonna take us to a builder that looks very similar to our form builder. So we can see right up here, we have our title, add to our system, and then we have what that task looks like. And here we have the response. If we want, we can add some additional fields. You can see we have just a short list, but all should be very familiar if you're utilizing JotForm. And then down at the bottom, we have some different pages. We have design task, thank you page, and the header, which all are completely editable. So top left, I'm gonna go ahead and head back to our workflow. We can see we have one error, and this is pretty much gonna tell us that we need to select an outcome. So from here on the left-hand side, let's go ahead and bring in the end. We'll drag the denial down and then we'll do the approval and we'll say if the process is completed then the entire process is going to end so let's go ahead and give this a test we're going to do publish and we'll open in a new tab and let's go ahead and fill this out we'll do mr smith and we'll add a file and submit all right, let's go ahead and head back over to JotForm. Now, because I'm still in JotForm, I can easily jump over into our inbox. But if you're not in JotForm, you as the approver are going to receive an email to let you know, hey, you need to log in and approve this. So I'm in the top left-hand corner, we're gonna choose to jump over to our inbox. And right here, you can see we have action required on John Smith. We see it is in progress. So right down here, we have access to see his full submission, including his file upload. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose to approve. 
We can see that that is done. It is approved. And now we will see that there's going to be a task that is added, which is also going to be assigned to me. We can view that task and we can see it is add to our system to the back office and send a welcome letter. Perfect. Yes, I have done that. So we are complete. We can go ahead and submit and we can view our completed task as well. And this brought us right back over to our inbox. We can see it's been approved. John has received an email to let him know that his request has been approved. And we also see the task has been completed. Perfect. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to use JotForm workflows for your approval process and to add in different tasks, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.